Hello my beautiful friends, I hope you are all doing very well. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Shannon, it's very nice to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and joining me again, I really appreciate it. I feel like I wear the same thing in every video, but this is just, I haven't worn this jacket in a while actually, um, but I just haven't filmed in so long. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM with the yellow mimosa interior i have a lot of stuff in here um it has been so long since i have used a tote bag um as far as carrying it as a purse i normally carry my le pliage tote every weekend as a school bag but i haven't used um a never full tote as a purse in quite some time so i'm very excited about that and I have a lot of goodies in here that I think you will like. And this is a very realistic what's in my bag because I have a lot of running around to do. So there's like food in there. There's a package in there. There's like lots of stuff. And you'll be like, it's a very real and raw like what's in my bag. Um, so I'm very excited to share with you this bag. This is a unicorn bag for me that I got from Brand Bag Girl. And... <laughs> If you know me, you know that I love yellow. Um, side note, I my nail polish is just terrible. I need to give myself a manicure after this, but I wanted to do this first. Let's go ahead and get started with what is in my bag. So first I have this little luggage tag that has my initials on it, and then I also have my sunglasses. I normally don't do that. I will never hang my glasses off the side of my bag, but I had them on when I came in the house and then never took them off so I just hung them on the side of my bag. These are the Ray-Ban polarized side note if you buy sunglasses please do not buy anything besides polarized your eyes will thank you. Next I have my keys I have kind of an obnoxious keychain I have my six ring key holder which obviously has some keys in there and then also a gas card I have a couple of key fobs this amazing keychain that my friend Kay made me I will tag her Instagram here so you can go check her out follow her she makes Apple watch band she makes a bunch of cool stuff and I love this thing I have not taken it off my keys since I got it and there's no signs of wear or tear on it then I also have some mace I don't mess around with anybody um, and then this little clip I of course I have my phone this case is not from Louis Vuitton it is actually from an Etsy shop um, I've gotten so many compliments on this case I will never spend the money on a designer case um, I just won't but this has gotten more compliments than any other phone case I've ever gotten before and I absolutely love it. Next I have my Chanel wallet. This wallet is phenomenal. I love it. it has a place in the back for some coins. It has a good amount of card slots. I took this on vacation with me and it was great has a place for cash it just has a lot of space but it doesn't take up you know a long amount of room and even like thickness wise it's not too not too crazy I have a Lara bar because I get hungry and I get hangry so if I know I'm not gonna be home for a while I'll take one of these just in case I have some gum but this is pure gum it doesn't have the artificial sweeteners in it because I have IBS TMI but gum makes me blow up like a balloon because of the sweeteners in it so this I can chew no problem I have my reading glasses I feel like I'm getting old kind of am but oh Jen just texted me she just uploaded her new video so anyways I have these glasses for when I'm on my computer and when I am on my phone a lot, which is all the time. 
Next, I have medicine that I need to take. I have a few lip products and a clip. This cute little Chanel inspired clip. My Dior Coral Lip Glow, which I think if you guys find your perfect cheek and lip color, it totally changes your life. And like you almost, well, for me anyway. I don't use anything else that's not peachy or corally. It's just, it goes with my skin and it looks really nice. I can't really do super pink things anymore. So I love the lip glow. That's like my go-to lip. Then I have the MAC Selena, Selena Vive Cream Sheen Lipstick, which is really pretty. And then a lip glass in the color Mystic Power. So that's super pretty. I have a package because I need to go create a label and ship that out. It's a return. I have my agenda, which I don't always take with me, but I have some plans I'm trying to make today. So I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to like get too excited about something if it's not going to happen, but I have hopes that something big will be happening in the next couple of weeks but who knows god will take care of it but i wrote some notes down in this book so i just wanted to have this with me i have oh my gosh this beautiful pouch from season two consign my girls erica and monica i i don't even like those ladies are the best love them so much but i took this out just as a purse slash clutch yesterday and i had my card holder and my phone and my mask and it was perfect my dad was like "Ooh, i like that i'm like he i always say this but he rarely comments on my bags but he was like oh i really like that um i have a paper for um what is this for the dermatologist <laughs> I have another chapstick and I have my Gucci card holder so this thing I stalked and tried to find for so long but it's the Gucci Supreme B card holder love this thing to death um and they were so kind and put the hardware on it so that I can make it like a little purse like this instead of having it as a wristlet. And I much prefer to carry it like this. And I just carried it on the crook of my arm and it was so cute. And then I have some CVS Extra Bucks and a couple of pens. I have a yellow pen and I have a purple marker for my agenda. And I keep... I'm not, typically when I buy a bag, I don't go searching for an organizer right away, but I did purchase a Zumoni organizer and stuck it in here because I did not want to ruin the interior of this bag. And it for, it fits perfectly. It also fits in my speedies. Um, and then, let's see, I do not, I do not have anything in the interior pocket. So that is everything that I keep in here and it fits a lot if it's everything I need. Um, like I said, I've really been into wearing crossbody bags and being a little bit more compact, especially since the pandemic has been going on. I feel like it's we try to just take what we need. We need our cards and our keys and a mask and like that's pretty much it. But today I knew I was going to be running a bunch of errands and out and about, have appointments. So I packed this thing like I was going on a day trip. <laughs> like just take what you need, take everything you can think of that you might need. And that is what we did. I think the MM size is perfect. Um, I've had my friend, uh, my friend actually inquired. She's like, are you selling any of your Neverfulls? And I'm like no girlfriend like those are not for sale um i mean some of my bags i would let go of but 
my Neverfulls are not it. Um, especially this one. This is going to be a keeper forever. Like, I don't see why I would ever part with this bag. And for my GM, it's the perfect travel bag. I can stuff that thing so much and it's just excellent. So I don't see myself getting rid of that either. Um, so I was like, I'll help you find one. <laughs> like I'll help you search and find a good deal or whatever, but they are not for sale. Um, but the MM is really great for um, every day. I will pack it. Like when I do carry the MM, I do normally fill it up but the GM is just a little bit too big for every day. It's great for traveling. It's great for road trips. It's great for a lot of, you know, a lot of occasions. And you can always throw like a sweater on top and just like drape it over. So I'm so excited. I love this bag and I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on it because they are so hard to find. But that is what is in my bag. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back and check me out on Instagram because I'm pretty, more, I'm much more interactive on Instagram. I definitely go on Instagram and post more frequently on there, but you know, I love YouTube. I'll respond to all the comments that I can and I'll watch your videos and support you too. So thank you again and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.